Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we will be converting our code into cogs and we will be, we'll be subclassing our commands.bot. So let's try get into it. So first of all I used environment variables for my tokens you can do the same and you should be doing the same secondly you can just make one folder named cogs and you can just name one file like bot.py and you can just import stuff like discord then um, like from discord.exe import commands now what you can do is you can create one class which will be uh, the bot class you can just name your bot class something like custom bot or maybe I'll name my class as YouTube bot and you can just pass commands dot bot in it we'll just define the init for it so I can say define init and as you can see it auto filled everything for me but uh, we don't want this exactly so I'll just remove the parameters except the coags and for these what I can do is I can just uh, you know make it more cleaner so I'll set my command prefix as uh, you know my command prefix was exclamation mark my health command was none my description would be something like this is my YouTube bot so you can just fill these stuff and then you can you know select the intents so i'm gonna say intents equals my intents dot all okay it was discord dot intents dot all yeah so that is it now our bot class is ready now what we can do is we can just save the file and head over to our main dot pi and in this file we can just remove the bot variable and i'll just i'll just you know comment all of these functions for now so I've commented them. Now what I can do is I can say if my name is equal to my main. So why I am doing this? I'm doing this so that uh, even if we import something from a main file, then the bot should not run. So I'll just get my bot object. I'll firstly have to import it. So I'm gonna say from my bot import my YouTube bot. Now my bot will be equal to my YouTube bot and we can pass the coags if we want and then what i'll do is this is my cogs folder and let's say there's a file in it named main.py or i should be saying basic.py now uh, we'll leave it empty for now now what i'll say is for my name in my os.list directory so os.list directory i'll just have to pass the path and i'll just pass my cogs folder now we'll check if the file which is located in my cogs folder is a py file or not so i'll just say if my name which is the file name dot ends with and i'll just say dot py so its name will include the dot py extension now we'll just load the file so i'm going to say bot dot load extension and i'll just i'll just pass cogs which is my folder name folder name is right here which is cogs dot and i'll just do some formatting i'll say dot format and i'll have to pass the file name without the extension so this name includes the extension i'll have to remove it so i'll just say name and i'll say up until negative three so this will not include the extension which is dot py so these are three uh, letters of the extension now we we are will be loading all the files in it nextly what we'll be doing is we'll just run our bot so i'll just control exit and paste it right here so if you if you want to know how these environment variables work then i've, I've made a video for it you can just check it out now we'll just save our file and we'll move to our basic.py so i'll just import the basic stuff import discord from discord.ext import commands now what i'll do is i'll create one class which will be my basic.py so i'll just pass commands.cog 
now i'll define the init so i'll just say init we'll pass the self and the bot and my self dot bot will be equal to my bot so this is a property we are creating and this is the bot variable and also we'll just say commands dot bot so this is just to verify the type of the parameter we are passing so that we don't pass any other client in it so now what we will be doing is firstly we need to create some commands like these were the commands and we need them to be in our cogs so for an on even function what we will be needing is we will say at the rate commands dot cog dot listener so if you notice here we have bot dot event and here we have commands dot cog dot listener with these parentheses now i'll say async death on ready so this is just exactly the same and it just has a self parameter and now i'll just print yo i'm there now this is for our uh, on event command now for a command i can just say commands dot command and i can just pass my aliases as well something like emo and i'll say async def emote so i'm just replicating my other command so i'll just say self and ctx so self parameter is obviously mandatory since it's a class now uh, i just need to copy it i'll just away i'll just copy whole of it and i'll just save it and similarly i can do with the third command now it's not over yet we need to create one setup function as well it is required for loading the extension so i'm gonna say define setup and i'll pass my bot parameter i'll say bot dot add cog and i'll have to pass my class which is my basic so i'm gonna say basic and i'll pass my bot inside so it requires a commands dot cog which is my bot and here we go so now go to your main.py this is my bot file this is my main.py i can just remove all of this stuff for now and basically we don't need them anymore and if we try running a bot okay so we got an error it is just actually the alias is was to be a tuple or a list so basically i just i just forgot that now let's try running it again it says yo i'm there let's test it out in the on ready function it was to print yo i'm there and it's working now let's test our emo command so i'm gonna say emo and it sends all the emotes i can even say emote and it still sends them so yeah it's working so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video